We have now lived through three weeks and four days of the House under the speakership of Kevin McCarthy. And the fun new thing we get to experience this week is the first committee hearings under new Republican chairs. Here is some of what we have to look forward to. Can you tell me uh, how much how much COVID cash went to CRT? CRT. Critical race theory in education. It's, it's a racist right. uh, uh, curriculum used to teach children uh, that somehow their white skin is not equal to black skin and other things in education. Yeah. Uh, no, I do not know that. But I, I do know that there's f provisions that the uh, federal funds generally are not used or supposed to be used for curriculum. Oh, uh, it's a state. Oh, local. Mr. Dodaro, I have to tell you, in Illinois, they, they receive five point one billion um, at, at an elementary school there that that used it for equity and diversity. Um, so it's it's being used for these things. That was Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene during the House Oversight and Accountability Committee's first hearing yesterday. She was grilling the Comptroller General about how, how federal funds were used in the height of the pandemic. Let's unpack this. First, the claim that an elementary school in Illinois got a $5 billion payday. That would actually be amazing if it were true. Like, get it, elementary school, personal water fountains for everyone. The reality, however, is that the state of Illinois received that much money in 2021 from the American Rescue Plan to share among 851 school districts. A spokesperson said that the congresswoman misspoke and actually meant the whole state. But that aside, critical race theory does not pit children against each other over their skin color. And also, Illinois' plan for that money makes no mention of critical race theory curricula. What it does outline is an effort to hire more teachers and build a diverse workforce that reflects the student population, with a plan to make learning more equitable by giving all students computers so that their learning isn't limited by a lack of access to technology. Making classrooms more equitable and teachers more diverse is not racist, even if Marjorie Taylor Greene thinks it is.